So I figured what I would do for my video today is I would do a bit of a Slayer Log. I'm just showing you my loot from my Ganodermics task at the moment. I had two decent seeds, a palm tree, and a U seed, and a fair amount of Ganodermic flakes. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a Slayer Log where I basically show you a fair amount of tasks and how I gear up for them and stuff. So you can just see um, how I personally do tasks and the tasks that I get and the loot that I get as well. So I had 1.2 mil from that Ganodermix task, and it took like half an hour, so that's not bad at all. When you use abilities, they're actually fairly decent money. Um, you can get about 2.5 mil an hour if you um, know how to use abilities correctly and stuff there. So anyway, um, time for another task. I'm sorry if it's a bit laggy right now. I'm actually rendering my previous video at the moment while recording, and I'm on an old PC, so it's going to be really, really laggy. Uh, anyway, something good. Aquanites. Um, tempting to skip that, but uh, yeah, I'll just skip that. I have plenty of points. I don't need the points for anything else anyway. Um, usually I do Aquanites, but the money there is so bad, and the charms are pretty bad. The XP is decent, but the money and charms are just terrible, so. Mutated Judenkos, okay, I'll do those. Um, fairly good XP, not the best charms, but that's okay. I don't really like doing tests that aren't the best charms, but I'll gear up for, for Judenkos and show you guys what I bring. So this is just my setup for mutated Judenkos. Um I just you really don't need hardly any supplies at all. They have been buffed, so they do hit quite a bit harder now, but um you can still live off of just the fruit drops that they drop. So they do drop a lot of fruit and you can just pick that up and eat it. But I'm just going to my trusty uh Dragar rapiers that I just had to recharge and they're freaking expensive to recharge. It costs like two mil to recharge these things. Um, even with using the uh, chitin scraps, so I never knew it was that expensive, but anyway, um, yeah, going to just my basic melee setup, um, I like to use Vandos, and uh, yeah, that's about it, so just deposit the Wish Doctor Mask, because you don't need that, obviously, uh, still lagging, because I'm still rendering the video, but this is about what I wear, um, and it works out pretty well. Well, that task is complete. Um, that's 885 tasks in a row, so not bad. I am creeping up on 1,000 tasks in a row. I am definitely looking forward to getting my 1,000th task in a row. Um, that should only be maybe another week of slaying or something like that, because you go through these tasks pretty quickly for the most part. Um, so the loot from the Jadenkos was decent, about 350k. Um, 360k, pardon me. Um, so that's not too bad. Since I want our Avento seeds over 4,000 each, that's pretty decent. I'm going to start keep picking those up from now on. But anyway, it's time to get a new task. Hopefully I'll get Ice Strike Worms or Dagonos or some, something cool like that. So I did pass 21 million Slayer XP in that task. I'm 21 million and 3,000 Slayer XP now, so that's pretty cool. I did not mean to trade Kurdo. Uh, time to get a new task, see what we get. Fire Giants, heck no, I'm not doing those. Fire Giants are dumb. They were okay when they were AFK because they used to be aggressive and uh, you didn't have to pay attention during that task. But they're really, really bad charms and they're not the best XP because you have to click on them all the time and I just really don't like that task. And they're also terrible money. Gargoyles, it's not very many gargoyles, but I'd still rather not do gargoyles. Um, as I said, I have tons of points, over 4,000 points, so I can pretty much cancel any task I don't want to. Varwatch, okay, that is a pretty fast task, so I will do that. And I think it's pretty good XP-wise as well. Well, I nearly got pooned there, but I finished my, um, my Virelord's task. It's time to get a new one. Hopefully I get... Um, I strike worms this time because they're really good XP. But we're gonna just price check what I got for Vire Lords. Um, my setup for Vire Lords is I use Mage, I just use the Blisterwood Staff. So 156k from that task. It's not bad considering the task takes like 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, this is my setup uh, Arcane Stream, Blisterwood Staff, Garbage Education, and I was worried my Tokar Cal probably shouldn't have been doing that, but I kind of forgot to take it off. Anyway. Test time! Come on, something good! Let's see. Ice Strike Worms! Yes, I'm happy. I have not had a Staff of Light in like 10 Ice Strike Worm tasks. Not even joking, it's been a really long time. So hopefully I can uh, pull the cat out of the bag and get a Staff of Light this task. Alright, well I'm finally done with that task. Um, let's see what I got. Uh, probably not anything good. No Staff of Lights again. 
which is a bit unfortunate because I've gone several tasks dry. But I got a ton of pure essence, although it's still only 200k. Um, probably another really bad money task because I remember these things used to be like bank loot profit wise once you got them from Curdo and you'd be really excited for ice strike worm tasks and now it's like 630k in an hour which really isn't very good but anyway regardless it's time to go get a new task I got uh, desert strike worms for my tasks so I guess I'll do them they're not my favorite they're okay and my scroll mission completed yay hopefully I uh, passed it Okay, so I just finished Desert Strike Worms. Um, keep in mind that I did actually half of this task, and then I banked all my drops that I got, and I went and did some dungeons, and that's why my dungeon XP counter has increased by like 1.5 mil since the uh, last segment of this video. But I lucked out and I got a Dwarfweed Seed, a Focus Sight, and a Lantidime Seed, so that's like over 200k. Um, so I probably earned the vast majority of the profit from this task during the second half of this task anyway. So if we price check this, it's going to be right around 400k, so uh, nearly 400k. That's pretty decent. It's time to go get a new task. And look at the prices of some of these items, like U-Logs over 600 each, Adamant Bars 3.5k each, you know. Some of these items are just so expensive, like Avento Seeds are nearly 5k. I can't even remember the last time Avento Seeds were 5k. It must have been years and years ago. But anyway, I'm going to go get a new task. Okay, hoping for something good here. Um, it would be nice to get like a good XP task. Order of Ascension members, that's a great task. Last time I was there, I actually got um, five Ascension keys, which are around 400, 500k-ish each. So um, hopefully I'll get a lot of money from this task, but unfortunately I have to range. And I don't have Ascension crossbows because I'm not stanky rich. Um, so I'll just have to range it, and it might take a while. So before I wrap up this video, I have a few things I want to talk about. Just vlog a little bit. Um, first of all, for people who get the Order of Ascension task, I would highly recommend to do it. Um, there's a couple reasons for this. For one, it's um, actually surprisingly good charms. Um, as you can see, I've got 63 crimsons um, and still a couple more to kill. So, And that only took about 45 minutes. So the charms are really, really good. Um, the money is really good. Uh, I have never made under a mil in this task. I've always made over a mil in like the four times that I've done it so far. And uh, just a tip um, for those of you killing this task, you want to kill the gladiuses. Don't bother with the Rorariuses because their regular drops are much worse and they have a lower drop rate for the keystones. Um, and you don't want to kill the shield guys, the uh, Scutariuses, because they're just annoying. Um, so you want to kill the gladiuses. They also drop a ton of rune maces, and ha they have a very good drop rate for crimsons. They drop a lot of rune and adamant items and stuff. Um, you probably bank about 300-400k worth of rune and adamant stuff if you have a pack yak. And I did get two keystones this task, so I'll just price check this and the, um, the noble noble stuff. Even if you don't have a pack yak and you can't bank the um, rune items, you'll still make a fair amount. You can just collect as many rune long swords and rune maces as you can. Just put them in your inventory. Um, so you also these ascension shards. You do not want to craft them into bolts because they're worth 500 each as shards and only 200 each as bolts. So um, you can trade the shards. So you don't want to craft those into bolts. So I made 1.4 mil and I banked at least 400k worth of rune and adamant items. So as you can see, that's nearly a 2 mil task and it only took 45 minutes. Um, the XP isn't the greatest. The XP is kind of average. Um, but the money and the charms are very, very good. So that's why I would recommend to do this task. And I guess just while I'm on my way to getting my next task, I'll talk about um, what do you guys want to see in the future. Um, I have a couple options here. I can either continue Dungeoneering. I did about 1.5 mil Dungeoneering XP last night, and I got level 110 Dungeoneering. So I kind of want to do some Dungeoneering before the new skill comes out and get a couple more levels. So I was just wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing more Slayer Logs, or if you'd be interested in maybe seen some dungeoneering videos i don't know how well that's going to work out because i already lag pretty bad on world 77 but um i could definitely do some dungeoneering videos if anyone was interested in that or if you guys just really really want to see slayer logs and you're not interested in dungeoneering at all um i can definitely just do some more slaying during the next couple weeks and um get some more slayer logs out so 
Water Fiends is my next task. Uh, and that's about all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave in the comments whether you'd like to see more Slayer Logs or if you want me to engineer or what you want. And farewell.